Hi, welcome to the Aviary Bird Shop. We're located in Miami at 22707 South Dixie Highway. My name is Patricia Lyon and I am your host today and the owner of the Aviary Bird Shop. This is considered an indoor aviary. It is not made of stainless steel, so therefore you would put this indoors, obviously for reasons of rust control. If you look at the bar spacing on this cage, see how strong these bars are? These are this cage is considered for a cockatoo or a macaw, anything of a large animal such as an Amazon, African gray, cockatoo, macaw. You would not put a small bird in this because of the bar spacing. They would get their heads caught in the bar spacing. What you need to look at when you are purchasing a cage, you need to look at the size of the beak. You need to measure across from one side to the other and that's basically what you would use for your bar spacing when you're purchasing a cage for your bird. If it's too small, it's usually too flimsy and therefore the bird can break the cage, break the bar and it can get stuck in their mouths, it can pierce them. Um, they can get their toenails caught in there, so therefore the, the bar spacing is very, very crucial to when purchasing a cage. If the bar spacing is too large, then obviously the bird can get caught into it, especially a conure or a cockatiel. They'll get their, their necks caught or their bodies caught, and of course then you've got a problem, especially if you're not home, then you may come home to a bird that may not be around any longer. So very, very important to the bar spacing and the way the cage is built when purchasing a cage for your family pet. Cleaning a cage is very crucial. Obviously you can get diseases, bacterial infections and things like that. Our suggestion is, is to wipe down the cage on a daily basis. We have products that will take care of this, such as poop off. You can get some hot soapy water. We put like a little thimble of bleach in there. And you just kind of wipe down the cage and that will take care of any sort of bacteria that you may have. 